Hi folks, this is Ziggy. Nice to see you again. Nice to have you here with me. Um, the town I left so well. I explained it to you. It's a request by a um, 15 year old kid from Devon in England. His name is Isaac. Hi Isaac. And uh, this is an easy exercise for me because this is one of the songs I like to play a lot. Um, when I play it I use, as you see, the capo. and. Uh, the technique of playing melody and chords in one um, works a little bit better with the capo and sounds a little bit better but uh, because there are so many people who don't have a capo at hand well, for them I do the explanation without the capo put it besides here and as I said it is um, my arrangement is in the um, rhythm and melody integrated sorry integrated style. Oh, that was the beer today. In Germany we have Father's Day and, uh, well, one beer I think is okay. So here we go. We start. Mm, well, how to explain this? I'm not really prepared like in all my other lessons too, but um, my belly tells me, well, um, let us start with the melody. First, maybe you have to learn the melody. It starts on the D string in the second fret. 2nd fret D string, 3rd fret D string, open G, then here um, in the 3rd fret of the B string, 1st fret B string, 2nd fret G, try to play this melody a little bit. Now, as you've heard, I try to play the melody in the way that there is already the rhythm to be heard, yeah? So you see my hand goes down and up, and when I add the chords, the same motion in the right hand and uh, now we have to add the middle finger to our plectrum playing and we do it like this we start again on the second fret on the D string third fret on the D string and then I have the C major chord in my left hand here and play the bass note and the melody note simultaneously start like this and then I hit the next melody note on the open G string here it is and I have to change to the G major chord but with my pinky here on the D uh, that means the third fret of the G of the B string and the melody now is to be played with the first finger and the open string. Okay, very slowly. Here we go to the F major chord, first fret. Now play the bass note, the F in the bass, and the melody note, which is a C on the B string in the third in the first fret with my middle finger. And then we go back to the C major chord and play the open G string again. You heard this little mistake, so it is not easy to hit the strings correctly all the time and it takes a lot of effort and a lot of well practice to to be able to play this style it took me some years to develop it and uh, well I have to learn too and let's well go on in the song I repeat the first part again second section, the first one was and now C in the B 
bass, that means uh, A string, 3rd fret, and the melody is to be found on the G string. Now I lift my F major and play the open B string and finger my first, my forefinger on the first fret of on the B string to get the melody. And then we go from that to the C major again. And here I play the bass note with the, the plaque and uh, hit the melody note with my middle finger again. This section again. play the melody on the D string, 2nd and 3rd fret, I leave the, the C major where it is, and add my pinky here on the D string, and then go back to the G major chord, and have the melody here on the D string, and I play up to that point again, you see it is not very easy to explain uh, what happens simultaneously all the time. You need to find out and uh, um, the most important thing is to keep the rhythm going, yeah? Down, up, down, up all the time. But I have to take a look at my watch here. Oh, we have to hurry up a little bit. A minor chord and the melody open G string, and the C here is the melody note. And now we have a kind of D major, uh, D minor chord. Ring finger, 3rd fret D, 2nd fret G, 3rd fret B. And I add the open E string and play here the 1st fret. Well, this is the last part of it and uh, well, I'm so sorry, but um, you see, the last part of it um, should have been explained a little bit slower, but we don't have the chime and we are running out of chime again because we have got the 10 minutes limit. But I hope you feel a little bit inspired. And if you don't, if you aren't able to play this song the way I do it, just sing and do what I can do, sing along and use the chords that I use as well and uh, well leave out the melody. But I hope you feel a little bit inspired and like it. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.